Okay, I've got another grocery haul for you guys today. Even though I share them on Saturdays, I had the opportunity to go to a store that you guys have been asking me to go to for as long as I can remember. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and typically I do share a grocery haul with a meal plan every single Saturday. So that was the last grocery haul that I shared and I went to HEB, got some items that I needed for my family of six. However, I went on a short weekend trip with my husband this past weekend and we weren't that far away from an Aldi and I get requests all the time or comments saying, hey, Aldi is super cheap. Why don't you buy your groceries from Aldi? Well, that's because I don't have one near me. This Aldi that I went to is two and a half hours from where I am living right now. So we happened to be only 30 minutes away. So we drove the extra 30 minutes, went to Aldi, and I spent about $41. So I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up. I also went to Trader Joe's. I typically go to Trader Joe's once a month and it happened to be on the way back. I wasn't really thinking of going to Trader Joe's until the end of this month, but I decided since we were already there, Trader Joe's is also about an hour away from me. So that just saved me the time since I was there. I went ahead and stopped up on some things that we'd like to get from there. And I also found some new items that we want to try. So at Trader Joe's, I spent $116. So those will be on next week's grocery haul in the budget updated and, and all of that good stuff. So what did I think of Aldi? You guys are gonna hate me, but I was not impressed. Now one, since it was so far away, I didn't even look at the cold section because I didn't wanna get anything cold and bring it back to me because Aldi was our first stop of the day and we had several other stops that we were making and it would have been sitting in the car for over five hours for sure. Um, we did not get home until later that night and we started some early-ish in the morning. So I just didn't want to even browse at the cold stuff. So all I did was go through the middle of the store and I picked up items. I mean, I spent $40, but almost half of that was on wine, two bottles of wine. And I just, I don't know, I don't feel like I'm missing out, but I'm not used to, go to going to an Aldi. I love my HEB. I love going to Walmart for groceries sometimes, Target, and of course, Trader Joe's. So thank you guys for asking me to go to an Aldi but I don't feel like I'm missing out. And I hope I'm not hurting anybody's feelings by saying that. I'm, I'm definitely okay with the grocery stores I have in my area. So let me go ahead and show you guys everything that I picked up from Aldi and Trader Joe's. Okay, so I've got Aldi and Trader Joe's on the table. We are going to start with Aldi first. Brought home the flyer just so you guys could see. Um, like I said, this is the first time that I've been in an Aldi. So I figured some of you guys might never have been in one either. And I wanted to show you guys what their flyer looked like. So here is that. Very, very small. It's just one piece of paper folded in half. So we've got that and the back side. All right, so didn't pick up too much. Like I've already mentioned, could not get cold things. This was over a two hour drive and we had other things we were doing. So I just went in and picked up a few things. Now I did find a few really good deals um, that I'm super excited about. So I got the white cheddar puffs. I wanted to compare these to Trader Joe's, but you guys are gonna see in the Trader Joe's haul, they were completely sold out of the white cheddar ones. They only had the sour cream and onion, but oh well. Um, I'm glad I picked these up to try. They are organic, non-GMO. They say all the good stuff on here, gluten-free. So I'm excited to try these because we love any kind of you know puff, they're super good. I got the multi-grain tortilla chips um, to go with the salsas. I love salsa and I love trying new kinds. And one salsa I know I love by pretty much every brand so far is black bean and corn. So of course I wanted to try the brand that Aldi had. It says specially selected medium black bean and corn salsa. So I'm really excited about that. And then I love cilantro lime flavors. And this is a cilantro lime salsa so I figured I would try this as a salsa but I think I'm also going to use this the next time we have like tacos on the menu or maybe I will cook that in the crock pot with some chicken to make some kind of shredded chicken taco salad or I don't know what but I just thought that the cilantro lime sounded amazing so I needed to pick it up 
Got these peaches. My oldest daughter has been on a peach kick lately, so I just remembered that we didn't have any peaches, and I saw these at Aldi, so I picked them up. There's four little cups in here. It's a 100% fruit juice, no artificial sweeteners, and then one full serving of fruit. So got that. Also, we are out of popcorn, so I went ahead and picked up popcorn at Aldi's. And my oldest loves trail mix. So I picked up this on-the-go trail mix. There are eight packs in here, and I don't feel like this was very much. I can't remember the prices on them, and the receipt is already put up. But one thing I remember the price on are these Indian sauces, you guys. Remember back in the day, if you've been with me for, I don't know, at least over a year, you know that not just myself, but over half my family love anything Indian flavored. And the cans or jars that we pick up from HEB are $5.99, $6.99, around the $6 mark. These were $1.99. What? Oh my gosh, I was so excited. I almost picked up several of them, but I was like, you know what? I really don't need that, that many. <laughs> but now that I'm home, I'm like, oh, I totally should have because they're good until 2020. Oh well. Um, I got one tikka masala and one butter chicken because we love these flavors and a new love of ours is last week or the week before um, my oldest Paige made a recipe. She's really been loving to start cooking on her own and she made something very similar with Indian flavors with cauliflower and it was so good. So I figured we could use this. This is a huge jar. We could use it for either chicken or cauliflower or something else, but I just knew, I'm really excited to try this. I bet it's gonna taste amazing and I could not beat that $1.99 price. Like what? So amazing. All right, something I saw that I know the kids are gonna love is I love picking up different kinds of noodles and mac and cheese and stuff like that because they're kids and they love that kind of thing, the little extra touch on their food. So this is mac and puppies, a fun shapes and cheesy cheddar. So cheese from cows, not treated with RBST. I mean, it says all the good stuff on it, organic, non-GMO, but what drew me to it is the little puppy shapes and the paws and the little dog house. Like how cute is that? I know they're gonna love that. All right, picked up some wine. It's been a hot minute since we've picked up any kind of wine. Um, we've really been enjoying this brand, the Stella Rosa. We have not tried the black, so we got that to try. And then our go-to wine is any kind of Moscato, like a sweet wine. So hadn't tried this brand before, so we picked up that. And last but not least at Aldi's, two chocolates. So I picked these up because they just sounded really good and I needed to try it. It is a butter cookie coated with dark chocolate. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. And I'm glad that it's a small little box. So there, I won't be able to go crazy with that. And then my oldest requested any kind of dark chocolate. So I saw this and I figured I would let her give this a try. It's a dark chocolate pieces individually wrapped. So she can keep these in the fridge if she wants them cold or in the cabinet and just get one at a time. But that is everything from Aldi's. Now I'm going to show you guys what all I picked up from one of my top favorite stores, Trader Joe's. All right, so Trader Joe's. I'm going to start with the items that I picked up for my mom. I let her know I was going to Trader Joe's and these were some items that she requested. She wanted the roasted and salted sunflower seeds, the raw sliced almonds. Trader Joe's has a really good nut section, like all sorts and kinds, and the unsalted, the salted, some flavored, and dried fruits and all that. Like they have a really big section and I don't think their prices are that bad. And then I haven't tried these, but obviously they are good. Like she requested four jars of these marinated artichokes. So I wanted to make sure I shared that with you guys. If you are huge artichoke fans, obviously these are good and you should try them from Trader Joe's because again, she asked for four cans or four jars. So that is actually not staying with me. That's going to my mother. I got a cantaloupe. Every time we go out to eat, like for breakfast foods with the kids, they devour cantaloupe when it's on anybody's plate. So I was like, why don't I pick up cantaloupe more often? I don't know. So thought of it in the store, so I got that for them. All right, here's the puffs. Again, I wanted to get the white cheddar ones to really put compare them to the Aldi one, but they didn't have it. Um, so I got the sour cream and onion. We love the puffs at Trader Joe's. They are so good, and we'll devour that in like two days like that'll be gone no lie all right um i have not purchased this before 
I got this for my oldest to try. If you guys did not know, my oldest is definitely trying out new flavors and foods and she does not eat meat. So I'm trying to find different things for her to really decide what she likes, the flavors that she likes and what kind of meals she wants to try to recreate on her own. So again, with the Indian flavors, we're all about the Indian flavors. So I saw this, I don't know how to say that. Is that Japur? I don't know, you guys let me know if I'm saying that right, Japur. I didn't look it up before I started filming, but vegetables, it's garden vegetables and cubes of paneer cheese with spices and cashews. It's 10 ounces. It shows it like you eat it as a soup maybe, but I told her that maybe this would be good over brown rice or quinoa or I don't know, something orzo, some kind of um, carby if she wanted to make it more filling. So I got that for her. Trader Joe's still has pancake bread, what? So I went ahead and picked this up because my kids absolutely love it. Something else my kids love for breakfast that I don't buy all the time are bagels. So I went ahead and got bagels and we are completely out of whipped cream cheese. So I went ahead and got whipped cream cheese. So that will be a fast, easy breakfast for them. I got myself some cottage cheese. I have peaches already, so that's gonna be a quick snack for me. Um, my oldest daughter absolutely loves this. Every single time I go to Trader Joe's, if they have it, I pick it up for her. It is the lemon basil pasta salad, so got that for her. Got some kiwi. This is something else that we haven't had in a while, and the kids love it, so I went ahead and picked up this little bag of organic kiwi. There are five in here, and then we picked this up the last time we went to Trader Joe's because I wanted to try it. I thought it was interesting, and we all loved it, so I definitely picked it up again, and that is the Cara Cara Navel Oranges. So they are, it's an orange, but they're pink inside, so it says, I'm an orange, but I'm pink. Yeah, the kids all loved these, so I'll definitely pick these up every time I see them, every time I go to Trader Joe's. All right, another thing I like to pick up at Trader Joe's, I like to look at their flavored drinks. I don't drink a whole lot outside of coffee and water. Um, in the afternoon, sometimes I like to have a Coke, but every now and then I really like to try out some different flavors. So I got this one last time and absolutely loved it. It was really good, the vanilla almond spice chai. So I got that again, and then I had not seen this one before, so I wanted to give it a try. It is organic cold brew hibiscus tea and lemonade. So I'm excited to try that. All right, I got some sprouted wheat sourdough bread, another thing my oldest requested. I feel like I got a lot of things for Paige this time, <laughs> but most of the time when I ask her what she would like from the grocery store, she's like, ah, I'm good, whatever. This time she had a list, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to find it, because she rarely asks me for specific things, so I got this for her to try. All right, this was something new. So I was talking to Kira right before I went into Trader Joe's, and she said, hey, I'm not gonna get to Trader Joe's anytime soon, and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a limited item, but if you see the watermelon jerky, pick it up for me, and I was like, ooh, I'm a little weirded out by that, watermelon jerky, but it sounds like it might be good because I love watermelon, and I found it, watermelon jerky, it's just dried watermelon. I don't know why they call it jerky. I don't know, you guys let me know if that's a thing, but it, it's just dried watermelon. So this is a two ounce bag, pretty small. I got three of them. I got one for me, one for Kira, and then one for Madison because Madison loves watermelon. Um, but again, it's just dried watermelon. So servings per container, one. So you're supposed to eat this whole package. It doesn't feel like there's a ton in there, but I do feel like it's more than one serving. So you might be able to break it up depending on what time of day you're eating it, what you're eating it with, yada, yada. Um, but ingredients, you guys see that? Just watermelon, that's it. It's just dried watermelon. So I'm really excited to try that. And then I'm gonna have to send these to um, the other girls so I can get those out so they can try them. But I'm excited about that and I'm glad Kira told me to look for it because I totally would have passed this up. All right, I got some uncured turkey bacon. I don't think I've ever purchased bacon from Trader Joe's before, but we just finished the last of it out of the kitchen or out of our freezer. So I like to have bacon on hand for in the morning or if I need something you know, cooked with this. So I always like to have that on hand. So I went ahead and picked some up. And then, all right, my husband and I went out to eat the other night at, a, at an Italian restaurant and we had um, caprese as in appetizer and it was so good. I love Caprese, I get it all the time whenever I'm out and I see it, and I was like, you know what, I wanna make it on my own at home. So I saw the Campari tomatoes, I picked these up, and then going all the way back here, we'll skip over that wine for a second, I got some basil because I've had this plant before, it's amazing, lasts forever, but I left it out one night when it got too cold and it died, and I was bummed, <laughs> but it's only $1.99. So I picked up another one, and hopefully I can keep this one alive a little longer, 
but I totally forgot mozzarella. So I'm gonna have to go to the store or maybe I'll hold off until next week. We'll see how these tomatoes look and get mozzarella then, but now I'm really craving it. So one thing you're not gonna see here that will be within my grocery budget is I need to get some mozzarella cheese. All right, my husband actually picked this up. He said it sounded good. He wanted to try it. I don't even know how to say any of that, but it is a white wine and hopefully it's a little sweet, <laughs> but he picked that up. Another thing for my oldest, well, this isn't just for my oldest. All of my kiddos will be able to try these, but it is vegan trail mix cookies. She loves trail mix. She's been really looking at a lot of vegan recipes lately, so I figured I would pick these up for her to try. She would get a kick out of that. Got some coconut beverage. It says non-dairy coconut beverage. This is for the daily harvest. That is the first meal kit that I got in the mail. And one thing I didn't pay attention to was what I needed on top of what they were sending. So I need to make sure going forward with the rest of the meal kits that I am looking at what I'm going to need out of my own kitchen. So I picked up this because I need this for some of the smoothies. And of course I got some flowers. They are so, I mean, they're priced amazing. This was $9.99 and anywhere else that I get flowers from are definitely more like 15 and up for a bouquet this big. So I got some flowers and then a bunch of frozen stuff. Well, this isn't frozen, this is sushi. My daughter Pearl loves sushi, but she rarely gets it. And I happened to see this at Trader Joe's and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick that up to her, for her so she can eat it for lunch. So she's gonna have this for lunch and then some frozen items. So I got the hash browns. These are perfect for quick breakfast with eggs or fruit. My kids love them. Also something I love to cook for breakfast with not scrambled eggs, but like over medium, still a little runny so good when you mix it with this is the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions this is really good this is something that i feel like i've picked this up every single time i've been to trader joe's lately something else i pick up every single time y'all all know it is the gnocchi with the gargonzola cheese this is so good i love it it's amazing and i've tried to recreate it a couple times now and i have not been successful the recipes that i've done are okay but they're not amazing they're not good so i'm not sharing anything until i can work it out and find one that i absolutely love as much as this one all right it is starting to get hot the weather is nice and i figured i would try these little mini hold the cone ice cream cones with vanilla ice cream in them for the kids so there's eight in there i have four kids so this will last for two small mini desserts one night all right, something else I picked up for my oldest. She has, this is like the third, I think the third time I've purchased this and she really likes it. So this will probably go on the normal, what I pick up every time I go to Trader Joe's until she tells me otherwise. But it is the stacked eggplant Parmesan. I'm gonna try to remind myself or remind her to let me try it this time because I haven't tried it yet, but it looks really good and she says she likes it. So I keep picking that up. And last but not least, this is actually something that my husband Mark picked up. He wanted to try it and let's see if I can say it right. Shakshuka? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I said that right, but it is a starter with spiced stew of tomatoes and peppers. And then I think you add, yeah, bring your own eggs. So you add your own eggs. He actually saw a video on this. So if I can get with him and get that video link before I post this video, I will have it in the description box. But he saw a video on it and he said it looked really, really good and he wanted to try it. And then we saw this at Trader Joe's and he was like, hey, I might as well just try it like this and then see if I like it and then maybe recreate it on his own. But that is everything from Trader Joe's and my first ever haul from Aldi. All right, so those are my two little bonus hauls for this week. No more bonus hauls for this month because I am doing a ton of meal subscription boxes that I wanted to share with you guys so you guys could get prepped and excited about any of them for this summer when your kids are home and you wanna spend less time worrying about food and more time spending with them. So I'm excited. Hopefully you guys will be seeing the first one on Wednesday. I got it in last week and we have been eating on it and really enjoying it so far. So I'm excited for the rest of them and to show the overall with you guys. So if you guys liked this bonus grocery haul, even though I wasn't a huge fan of Aldi, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad saying that because all of you guys are huge Aldi lovers and I get lots of comments all the time. But if you guys like that, I finally went and gave my true opinion. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.